areas on the sea coast as well as in Manchester. And we've done a lot of due diligence over the last five years. We've been to Ohio, we've been to Pennsylvania, we've been to New Jersey. We've looked at a bunch of surgery centers that do outpatient total joints. And it's clear that we cannot provide the needs of, for the needs of the community without developing something that allows us to do that. And the estimates for the Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons were that roughly 300,000 total hips were done last year, 600,000 total knees. And by 2030, that's supposed to basically, I think, go, the total hip population go about 150%, total knees roughly 600%. But what's more daunting, and I think what Bob alluded to, is the fact that close to 40% of those are probably going to be done on an outpatient basis. And so we really need to, in order to be able to sort of serve the community in terms of the way, and as you all probably know, we, we take care of people not just from Concord, we take care of people from all over New Hampshire in terms of that. And so our ability to sort of remain competitive, just even within the state of New Hampshire, is really contingent upon having a place that allows us to do those things. And we're really not able to retrofit our current surgery center for lots of different reasons. One is there's, there's just, it's an impossible task relative to just sterilization and airflow and all the things that need to be, need to happen in terms of that. But, uh, I mean, it has been a slow process. We've looked at a lot of different options. We thought some were very viable. We went pretty far down those roads and for different reasons, not just convenience. It's really about just what's safe for our patients. This is really the best option for us. It's, it's not, I think it's nice to be close to the ER and having covered the ER this morning, you know, going from the office to the ER and having been in the OR this afternoon, there's some truth to that. But the reality of it is there aren't a lot of places where we can be a, build a facility of this magnitude and care for the patients in this community. And we've spent literally the last five years trying to do it. And, uh, and there are some challenges that, that a lot of, I think, uh, we have not had an opportunity to really tell people about that, that really make it difficult to see you know, the two-year or three-year vision in terms of getting to a place where we need to be. And, and, and as I said, there, we, we're not talking about Ohio or New Jersey or Pennsylvania. They're doing this in Manchester. They're doing it in the Seacoast. And, you know, we, that, they always say that you don't want to be the first person on the bus. You don't want to be the last person on the bus. I don't think we're either one of those things. But it's clear that nationally the trend is to do total joints on an outpatient basis. So those, those two things are really what's driving our... Our, our sort of desire to get something built in the community and, and be able to take care of the needs of the community. And that's kind of the, the clinical piece in terms of, you know, where that's coming from. And I think part of our hesitation in the first couple of years of doing this was just, would this trend really be viable? Would, would you really be able to do outpatient total joints? And, uh, you know, we're doing total hips at Concord Hospital on a daily basis now where people could go home the next day but as Bob points out, there's a lot of challenges in being in a hospital. One is infection, and probably the biggest risk is infection. Infection, infection, infection would be one, two, and three. And so one of the beauties of being able to sort of do it in a, an outpatient surgery center is clearly, you know, decreasing that risk, but also, you know, there are other things that drive that, whether it's cost or, you know, whether it's patient convenience, but all three of those things really are, are paramount to why we're trying to do this. Okay. Happy to take other questions. Or? Great. Thank you. I, I, am, I think I want to get into the public aspect of this as quickly as we can. So if the, the board doesn't mind, the staff doesn't mind, I think what we'll do is, is keep your questions. If you've got them, I know probably most of you do. Um, this is an important topic, and I don't want to rush through it. I want to give everybody a chance to speak. I want to give everybody a chance to, to voice concerns, voice questions. Um, Bob and, and, and Doctor, if, if there's questions that come up during this, um, I think we'll hold you guys till the end. Um, if we can't get through it this month, I, I hate to push things off, but it's important enough where if we, we come to a point where we need to break, um, we'll address it uh, next month and go forward from there. But I really want to get to the, to the, to the public piece of this, get the, get the feedback, get the input. Um, and go from there. If that's okay, we'll have you guys step back and then uh, we'll hold our questions, staff will hold their questions, and I think what we'll do is put the sign-up sheet, if you, you guys could put the sign-up sheet over the podium. Um, what we'll do is if there's anybody in the, in the, the residents or anybody that wants to speak in opposition that, that can kind of summarize things for us, um, that would be great. We'll put the sign-up sheet over on the podium if you want to queue up. 
um, two or three at a time. Don't everybody get up at once. But if, if you want to get up and speak, um, we'll, we'll like to take you as quick as we can. Uh,